Welcome back to another video. So this beat that you're listening to right now as I'm talking in the background is a beat that I made using only stock plugins. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some free stock plugins that come with FL Studio that are my absolute favorite. And I wanna talk about them and highlight their strengths and you know maybe some of their weaknesses and that kind of thing, just to put, put it all in perspective because uh, most producers when they're starting out, they feel like they have to have all these third party plugins and that kind of thing, but sometimes you want to start with the basics and the stock plugins and that's what i want to show you today and like i said before this beat that you're listening to in the background i made it using only stop stock plugins that come with fl studio so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna this is the project that you can see right here that's playing in the background that's on screen right now so i'm just gonna you know like close everything up so the first plugin i'm gonna start with is morphine right so when i pick up morphine the kind of sounds that i look for in morphine that are the best that i think are good are really good in morphine are usually the keyboards the keyboards in morphine are amazing like if you look at the keyboard section here there's a lot of high quality keyboards that i come that i check out here and if you make deep house like the deep house i was playing before you, you want to have some nice keyboards and if i can pick maybe the soft fm keys here and i play it It sounds amazing. And if I choose maybe the soft key, that is super quality. And you, you can you can pick any. And they all sound amazing, but different at the same time. So it's just up it's just depending with how you play, you know, the, the keys themselves. And you also have organs as well. Because organs are part of the keyboard sections as well and you also even have a grand piano that sounds super amazing and you also have like an FM EP And it's amazing and it has a lot of thing uh, stuff going on there and I actually am a favorite of the crystal EP Oh, that sounds dope. That sounds amazing. And even the crystal keys as well. That sounds beautiful and sounds super deep. So if you're making uh, a lot of deep, deep house or this kind of deep house style, you want to make sure that you get your keyboards uh, here in Morphine. And you can even try out in uh, like strings as well. It does have some strings, but it doesn't have like a really good selection of strings that you can pick up. Like these strings are okay, but they're not the best. And you can also check for leads as well. They're kind of okay, but they're really not the best. You, you really won't get like some really nice leads as well here in Morphine. That's why I always go for like more natural, you know, instrument sounds. And if you go into Brass and Wind, you know, the trumpets and trombones, they sound cool, but they are not the best. And let's check out the flute. The flute is kind of okay, and if you check for the synthetic sounds, some of them are okay, but they sound super corny, and when it comes to like the like Volks presets, nah, they don't do it for me. And then when it comes to bass, Unless if you are trying to use like a real bass, like that sounds like a bass guitar, then this plugin might work. But if you're looking for more electronic bass, then I don't think Morphine would work. This is the except this is the exception I can say that this resonance square bass actually works here. But you let me know down below if there's any other presets that you use in Morphine that are your favorite down below. And then when we move on to the next plugin, the next plugin that I really like to use when it comes to deep house that is next is GMS. I like to use GMS for deep house. Now GMS has some really nice uh, bass sounds if i start in the bass folder because that's the first one you, you come through here and it has some some analog basses and they sound nice and electronic so you know because because deep house is part of electronic music these sound amazing i also like the bouncy square it sounds amazing as well so the basses in here are super cool and are super good and it also has really nice leads
the leads in here and the synths are pretty cool and also the pads the pads are pretty cool as well I mean listen to that texture there of this pad That's also pretty cool and if I move to the next one here The pads are pretty cool and they want to go to like special effects It doesn't really have like a lot of uh, special effects stuff and you can also save your own like presets as well And if you go into the wise labs, you also find some really cool presets as well that you can find in here So GMS is my second go-to plugin as well And then my third plugin that I really like to use for deep house is toxic biohazard so Toxic Biohazard is a pretty cool plugin and you can see how it looks. It might look super intimidating to some people because it has like six oscillators, but that's actually a good thing if you want to actually go in depth with your plugin and tweak it and, and change it and, and tune the presets that you have, which I recommend that you, you know, you tweak the the presets that you load up in any plugin just to you know to, to to spice it up a little bit you know just to spice it up a little bit so you have your oscillators over here and then you have your effects down below here you can see there's a flanger and there's a filter section here and then there's a delay here and these brighter areas are reflecting the oscillator section and then you have the configuration here and then the, the master envelope where you have the ADSR attack D K release and a sustain and release and then the presets themselves it has really cool presets like it has a lot of different presets that you can find here like the textures are pretty nice and the bases they work well for deep house and it also has this best folder here where they compiled like the best presets that they think are the best but they might not be the best for you but you let me know down below which presets are the best for you here in toxic biohazard and if you keep going like i really love the leads of this plugin it has amazing leads i feel like they're super rich So, you, so before you head over to look for all these other third party plugins, like take time to really go through to cycle all these presets and see if you can really not make anything nice with these presets. I'm sure they'll be good. I mean, look at how much pads are in this thing. Woo, that is nice. And then when it comes to percussion, you have some percussion stuff here, but I don't really use the percussion stuff here because I use my own samples, which you can get down below. And I also love that it also has sequences. And it actually has this deep house preset right here. It has a bit of too much delay, but you can obviously play around with the d delay section here. But Toxic Biohazard is a pretty cool plugin that I think is pretty cool. And then my fourth plugin is Sakura. Sakura is also an amazing plugin that, that I often use most of the time. And I love it because it has some Japanese kind of style that it has of sounds that it has inside there. It has some, it, it gets it, its influence from, you know, the Japanese culture. And it has a lot of the mostly Japanese oriented type, uh, type types of sounds that sound really cool and sound nice and electronic, but really cool at the same time. This is an amazing plugin and it has like a wide variety of presets. Like look at these keys. And I can actually see you using Sakura for even stuff like hip hop as well, like trap music and, the, and all those kinds of things. It has a lot of presets. Like if you come here into the Eastern Dreams Bank, it has really amazing presets that you can try out if you're trying to make melodies and things like that like you can really make some music that has these nice like i don't know these nice special sounds that you can add into there 
It also has a keyboard section, but the keyboard section is not as good as Morphine. That's why I go to Morphine when I'm looking for like natural keyboard sounds that sound super natural. Like no matter how much I play, how well I play this, you know, this taped EP, it, it just, just doesn't sound good to me, you know, and it doesn't have like a lot of nice pads in the pads section. And then you have uh, some a few percussions and a few SFX. And then you have the Sonic Haiku Bank. It also has some nice presets in there. Ooh, that actually sounds cool. And then you, if you come to strings, the strings are pretty cool as well. That's an amazing sounding violin sound. Let's check out the next one. That sounds pretty cool and you have all these knobs and switches that you can play around with to really change the sound. So you have these sections here, you have an exciter, you have a high cut, you have the string section where you can do so much. You have the mix, the envelope, the resonator and you have your effects down below here and your envelope settings down here as well. And then my last and final plugin that I always use if you've been following my videos and watching my channel, you know that I always use this plugin, Flex. I believe Flex is the best stock plugin that they have in FL Studio. And I'm going to tell you why it's the best. First, it is because of the presets, right? So what you can do in Flex is you can check out all their banks. Like you can check out the banks that they have, like the packs they have for Flex. Like there are free ones and then there's, uh, there are ones you, you can purchase directly from ImageLine themselves. So I have all of them that they have up to date, like right now. I mean, you have pianos, you have guitars, you have bass guitars, you have essential winds, you have strings, you have so many different ones that you can use. Like it, it's, it's so many of them. It's crazy. The, this is the one that I, that I mostly use when I'm looking for anything. So if I were to use any one stock plugin, I would definitely use flex for the sake of it has like variety i even have like a favorites folder why where i just you know favorite sounds so that i go to them you know so that i don't have to like cycle through all these and kind of remember which pack to go to to find a certain sound i just favorite them i think that's pretty cool and the bases and flicks are super amazing and not just the basses, but everything. I mean, I even like this one I've used in another video here. This is like a chord. And you also have jungle mallets. I use this in another video as well. And you also have piano sounds. I mean, you have so much that you can do here. and. One other thing that I really like, especially when it comes to like if you're a beginner producer, I love that Flex does not over confuse you with too many knobs. It just has like pretty, a pretty simple like interface where you can just see your presets here on the left and then you have everything else to the right. So you have your macros right here where you can just uh, like control because these macros change, right? So you can control the sound. So as you load a preset, you can see the macros are changing. They are different for each sound because each sound comes with different, you know, macros that you can switch out. So they're, they're not giving you everything full on, you know, right in your face, that kind of thing. So you just use the macros to, you know, to kind of just change the sound a little bit just so that the sound can sound different. And you can even automate these things and you also have the analysis section here where you can check out the visualizer and you can switch modes like that so you can pick which analyze which analyzer that you like which display that you like so that you can monitor your stuff you have a filter you have the pitch section you have your envelopes you have your master delay and you have the effects here the delay and the reverb and then you also have a limiter here that you can play around with and then you also have the out if you want to control the level of the plugin itself i think that's pretty cool but you let me know down below which are your favorite stock plugins in fl studio and if you do have presets that you also like in those same plugins let me know down below but these are my favorites so it's morphine gmx toxic biohazard sakura and flex these are my go-to my all-time favorite plugins that i use in fl studio to make house music so 
let me know down below which are your favorite and if you like this video and you found it super helpful make sure to drop this video a like and also share this video with a friend so that they can check these plugins out and try these out before you download any third party plugins but anyways i'll see you in my next video i'm x and i'm out peace